Hey guys, welcome back to VR Essentials. Today, big news as Virtual Desktop have released a new update. Very excited by this. Let's just go to uh, Guy Godin's Twitter tweet. Let's say Guy Godin, for those who are not familiar with him, he's basically the founder and lead developer of Virtual Desktop, guys, and he's done absolutely amazing throughout the years, considering the challenges he's had as well. So big update today that brings HEVC 10-bit encoding for both desktop and VR games, a new H.264 Plus option that pushes the bitrate limit to 400 Mbps. 400 Mbps. I mean, that is amazing. It should bring very, very decent quality when you're doing your streaming from your PC to your you know, VR headset. And also a new pass-through, he says, environment on Quest and a local dimming option on Quest Pro. So for those who are not familiar with what you know, virtual desktop is, it basically enables you to do two things. First of all, you can stream your VR experiences directly from your PC, which is something like this, your PC VR machine, directly into your headset using, for example, a standalone device like the Pico 4, okay, or the MetaQuest 2, of course, without the need of any cables of any kind. So, whew, you just basically go straight into it. Now, for example, for the Pico 4, the advantage of using virtual desktop is for me, the virtual assistant software from Pico blocks a lot of my software from working. So, unfortunately, I can't use the virtual assistant software. So, virtual desktop helps me to be able to stream all my favorite PC VR experiences directly, natively, inside of my standalone VR headset, which is the Pico 4. Now, there's also an option for the actual PC-wide version as well to do that. Now, secondly, what you can also do is play any PC games or anything, even using your PC, you can do that within a virtual reality environment with being, let's say, in a virtual office or in a virtual, um, you know, bedroom or, or cinema of, a, of, of any kind that they basically modeled for us to be able to put ourselves in. And then you'll see like a screen in front of you, a virtual screen with your PC images, anything from your PC will be basically casted into that virtual environment. Let me just show you what I mean for those who are not familiar. So this is one of the virtual environments provided by virtual desktop, as you can see. We're going through the lens here with the camera placed on the actual lens of the Pico 4 and it really does look very stunning. So it's really amazing. And this is the virtual PC I was talking to you about that shows the actual image from my PC casted within virtual reality. So you can play any game or do your work or whatever it is with your headset on within a virtual reality environment, which I think is pretty damn cool if you ask me. And also, of course, as I mentioned, play your actual VR games in VR on your standalone VR device without any cables of any kind by casting directly on from your computer inside of your standalone VR headset. Now, we did some other videos on the channel and you do need to check these out if you're planning to get virtual desktop. And by the way, one of the, version, one of the reasons why I use virtual desktop and not the native Pico 4 um, virtual assistant software is because when I install the software in my machine, it blocks other software, for example, my uh, editing software and also my HP Reverb G2 software and some other software from actually working. So I decided to get rid of it and to use virtual desktop as my primary software for casting any games from my PC VR inside of my Pico 4. But let me just show you very quickly. Uh, so if you go to, there are two videos you should definitely go and watch. The first one would be uh, this one here, which basically says Pico 4 Ultimate No My Sky Graphics Guide. Now I actually put the uh, X-T8 by Asus and also the other headset, which is this one here, the GTAX 11000 Pro router, excuse me, I actually put them side by side using virtual desktop. So if you go to this video, you'll see inside of the description, if I just pause it very quickly and go to show more, you'll see the, ti the timestamps here and it will actually tell you all the various different experiments I did with both these routers using virtual desktop in terms of trying to get the best optimum graphics using the different bitrate settings with the different routers to show you what kind of issues I had and how I was able to 
go you know go past those challenges and find the actual solutions like for example with virtual desktop when i'm away from the router about 10 meters away of a closed door and the wall in between i still get some latency but when i'm near the router it's absolutely amazing the graphics are basically the same as when i have a wire hooked up to my machine almost the same it's pretty amazing so for those who don't have virtual desktop i definitely recognize some planes here going on it's like Singapore army planes, I don't know what they're doing anyway. Um, so yeah, so if you don't have virtual desktop and you're looking for a solution to help you to cast, if your virtual assistant is causing you some issues in your, in your computer or your Oculus software is causing you some issues perhaps as well, then you know, virtual desktop is definitely a great alternative. And of course, with the virtual assistant or I think with the Quest software also, you can't actually watch movies in a virtual cinema on your own, unless of course you use big screen, but I believe also you can't really play games in a virtual environment as well that are supposed to be played on your PC. So this is also, or use your PC within a virtual reality environment either. So these are also, you know, the, the good things about virtual desktop, as I mentioned. All right, guys, leave some comments below, smash the like so YouTube promotes this video to as many people as possible and help us to grow the VR Essentials community. Until next time, don't forget, Friday we're doing a live AMA with the founder and lead developer of Walkabout Mini Golf, guys. Details coming very soon, so hit the notification bell after you subscribe to be notified of when it's going to be happening. All right, guys, see you later in another video very soon. Bye for now.